السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد وعلى آل سيدنا محمد وبارك وسلم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم This is very nice and good story This story is related to Hazrat Imam Azam Abu Hanifa Rahmatullahi and one atheist one dhairiya who does not believe in any god in any khuda so one debate happened with this dhairiya with this atheist so when the people know that the debate is happening between hazrat imam azam abu hanifa rahmatullahi and Uh, between atheist dahriya who does not believe on any god in a khuda so all persons they they uh, eagerly they, they were waiting so which kind of answer hazrat imam e azam abu hanifa rahmatullahi will give so that uh, the topic was decided that okay let's debate let's tell let's discuss discuss let's prove that is there any khuda is there any god in the world or not this was the topic so that dahriya told to hazrat imam e azam abu hanifa rahmatullahi okay let's debate on this topic only so for understanding purpose so they fix one day and time like a sunday 10 o'clock so all persons they gather in one ground and all persons came and they are waiting and this dahriya this atheist who does not believe in any khuda any god he also came there 10 o'clock completed now hazrat imam e azam abu hanifa rahmatullahi alaihi did not arrive did not reach all persons are waiting and this dahriya also waiting Hazrat Imam e Azam Abu Hanifa rahmatullahi alaihi li reach after a one or two hours so first of all the dhairiya ask that o oh, imam o oh, imam e azam so you are you are a great imam and we only fix one time but you reach you came very late now hazrat imam e azam razi allah taala anhu said that see if i give you answer that why did i come late so actually i i left my house in time and before coming here so there was a one river one nadi is there so i was coming to here to attend this meeting so i was standing near the river so what did i see i became very shocked that what i am seeing that there was a one tree suddenly it was cut now what i am seeing that from the tree so those, those wood are automatically they made one ship one boat i i became very shocked to see all these things so suddenly these boat these ship what is doing that this in this ship people are coming and sitting and this ship is leaving from one place to another place so i was watching i was seeing all these things and i became very shocked that automatically it was happening there is a no any person there is a no any man who cut the tree and there is a no person who made the boat who made the ship and there was a no any sailor there is a no any person automatically this uh, boat this ship is going and coming and this ship only collecting the money and the passengers the people are sitting in this boat and in this ship and they are from one place to another place so these means strange thing i was watching nobody was there so therefore i became late 
so now that dahriya that atheist who does not believe in any khuda in any god he laugh loudly and told that oh you are a great and big imam all people say that you are a great and big imam and you are telling such a lie how it is possible how a tree can cut is itself unless until any person anybody anybody cut any person must be there who should cut the tree and in the same way any board any kasti automatically it cannot prepare so some man some person must be there who should prepare the board or ship in the same way automatically how can a board how can a ship travel from one place to another place and how it is possible that that ship only collecting the money from the people and from one place to another place it is leaving now hazrat imam e azam abu hanifa rahmatullah le explain him told him that oh man when you are not believing in this small thing that automatically a ship a boat will not run automatically some somebody some some person must be there so how can you think how can you say that these big world seven skies seven earth these mountain these create creature without any khuda without any allah taala how it can run so when you are not believing that some somebody must be there so in this whole world somebody is maintaining if that allah subhanahu wa taala wants the rain comes if allah subhanahu wa taala wants everything we get without creator without without allah subhanahu wa taala this world will not run now that dhairya that atheist understood that definitely whatever hazrat imam e azab abu hanifa rahmatullah le told that story so when one small thing cannot happen it itself so these big world how can it run without any khuda without any parvadigar so all the people they become very shocked to listen the hazrat imam e azam abu hanifa rahmatullah le even the debate did not start now hazrat imam e azam abu hanifa rahmatullah le gave the the nice and good reply that all the people understood even this atheist also understood and now this atheist told to hazrat imam e azam abu hanifa rahmatullah le o imam e azam abu hanifa rahmatullah le i will embrace i will accept the islam so after that 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 atheist that atheist who does not believe in any khuda he to he he told to hazrat imam e azam abu hanifa rahmatullah le i will embrace islam i will accept islam so then he read kalime tayyiba and he accepted the islam so from this story we have understood that our imam imam e azam abu hanifa rahmatullah le how much intelligent and which kind of example hazrat imam e azam abu hanifa rahmatullah le gave us and from this example we have understood that definitely there is a allah subhanahu wa taala who is maintaining all the world so this was a nice and good story thank you very much